you all right? Does he have a gun on you? Episode 6 of Star Wars The Acolyte was really interesting. The writers subverted my expectations by teasing the possibility that Osha could turn to the dark side of the Force. The Jedi teach there's only one way to access the Force. But there is another way. Anger. Fear. That's the path to the dark side. Semantics. And May could turn to the light side of the Force. You saved us, Osha. You saved me. It's time for me to face the High Council, to tell them everything. If this is the case, it would be a testament to how good the writers are, because they only have a few more episodes left to resolve the story. I also really like the introduction of the lightsaber whip. It's such a unique addition to the Star Wars universe, for the screen anyway. I thought it was a really nice touch that it was Leslie's lesbian partner who got to wield it. What would really impress me is if only a woman could wield that particular lightsaber. See, the whip is a symbol of domination and oppression. I should know. I'm the king of the world! Woo! I'm a star Get your too. Ass back down there, boy! So if it did become canon that only a woman could wield a lightsaber whip, it would be an incredible subversion of what the whip stands for. Seriously, I applaud the writers of this show. There's loads more for me to talk about this episode. But I won't. And so the episode ends on a mysterious note. We have yet another brilliant application of symbolism by the writers, with Soul figuring out that Mei is posing as Osha. And instead of just having a rational conversation with her, he has her restrained on some kind of medical bed. So she's lying on her back in bondage, you know, because that's all a woman is good for. And his reason for doing this is because he's going to tell her everything. This will be his big confession. You and I are going to talk. I've had 16 years to think about what I would say to you if I ever got the opportunity. So you're going to listen. Meanwhile, Kamir gets into Osha's head and convinces her to put on his helmet. Apparently it's made from a special metal that blocks out everything. So that when you put it on, it's just you and the force. Kurtosis. It blocks out all your senses. So it's just you and the force. And what you bring with you. The episode ends with Osha's POV inside the helmet. And she's breathing like Darth Vader. So it does look like they're going down the route of a role swap between the twins. Osha turns to the dark side and May turns to the light side. That would be a brilliant and bold subversion of expectations. Or they could be doing something even more clever, which is to subvert the subversion of expectations by having the twins explore the respective light and dark side, but end up right back where they started. Huh? Uh-huh, unagi. <laughs>